Um, well, I'm just going to do, uh, talk through this fiberglass boat that I built as my senior project. So, and it's the first review, and it's not going to be completely in depth, but it will be some of it. So, basically, here's what I got to start out with. I had, this is the bottom of the boat, the top, and it's just like a honeycomb shell that would, it was made out of. Um, here it is. It's kind of still was very rough when it was started. And here it's put together top on the bottom and it's just putting those two pieces together. Here I'm tacking them together to make sure it just is held down tight. Here's the other side. Making so it's a one turns into one boat. And then here's the bottom or here's the corner of it in the back for the transom mount. I'm just laying fiberglass over the top. Uh, here's a fiberglass honeycomb picture. And then here's the edge of it, and I, since that was um, crooked, I laid just poured fiberglass in as like a fiberglass rod. Here's another pla place where just fiberglass went through. Here's the back corner, kind of another view of how it was offset and had to be adjusted, and go into that more. A lot of grinding on those edges to get it perfect and here I'm just filling up that gap in the corner make sure it's really strong so you could the motor could mount up solid and here's the back corner I just kind of ground it down to try and make it look smoother here's the bow of the bow just the kind of getting that front area tacked together lock solid it took multiple layers and grinding just to get it smooth and how I wanted it here's the front just another kind of tack together spot and the back had a little gap down inside the boat so laid a mat there here's more matting for the front and then here's another piece I laid this first and then kind of just went along and made sure every place was solid lay one layer and then laid another and ground eat after each layer to make sure it was smooth completely um here i have a putty that i stuck in it and basically it's just a mixture of a powder almost like baking soda that just kind of went in it and thickened it up almost like bondo putty for cars but it's a little more of a fiberglass compound and it was probably one of the best things I used for it, but I didn't have very much of it. And it locked it down really tight, made the corners really easy to lay everything else around. Here's the edges of it. That took a lot of grinding. And here I'm trying to mount like a front plate over that front. Here I ran out of that putty, so I used bark chips actually, or like sawdust, which also worked really well basically any small powder that you can find to mix in with that the fiberglass compound um, like resin is a good way to do it probably not organic but anything of solids and here I just laid that down and then I um, laid another layer of fiberglass kind of make it smoother because it was really rough when I did that. Here, just laying the fiberglass mat over the corners. It's a real good combination when you use mat and cloth. Cloth to over the top and mat down as more of a structural support. It's a little thicker. Have your duty here. After it's all ground down, ready to go. And I wrapped that to try and basically space it out so I could get parts of it done like this. Don't use tape on it if you're going to paint over it and all this is is resin and then you can get a coloring for it and just mix it in with your resin just like basically a thick paint and just spread it across and don't use tape that was miserable to try and get it off if you have tape uh, I was able to get it off just using a blow dryer it was painters tape and here it is after it's done and just ground off the nicks and marks to make sure it was completely smooth and then kept painting over it to make it smooth it turns super slick as soon as it's done and here's the boat after it's done it's a five horse motor that we're using on it so not very big it can handle up to a 
10 horse motor and weight but you can get 15 horse motors that weigh the same as a 10 horse motor which I tested at one point in time at the end um, so here it is just testing nothing fancy it didn't go like crazy fast but it it moved and it handled really nicely better than I would have expected on it And it ran really smooth. It didn't have basically any bumps, and it just handled every way smooth. Each turn and everything just kind of just sucked up and went smoothly, just like it should. It was just a way it was almost hard to catch waves to get them to splash even because it just kind of slide right over the top of them. It's the only place all day I could get them. I should kind of bite down into the wave. So here is going to be like the video of after we put the 50 horse, we had troubles with it, so it wasn't working correctly. But here's basically the power it gives. So basically built this boat. It took about 90 hours to do it. I did it as a senior project in high school actually. Um, it was one of the best things that I've done so far is be able to build this and now I can use fiberglass whenever I want. And it fiberglass wasn't as difficult as I expected it to be. Basically just mix them together and it's there are technically rules for it but basically I could mix it fast so it hardened super fast or hardened slow it didn't really matter and it worked always um, if you need have any questions feel free to ask and thanks for watching